Jordan says it is willing to swap an Iraqi woman prisoner on death row for a Jordanian pilot captured in December by extremists from the Islamic State militant group. The offer runs counter to Jordan's current hardline approach of not negotiating with Islamic militants. Families in Jordan and Japan are pushing for the release of two hostages currently being held by the Islamic State group. From Tokyo, the mother of freelance journalist Kenji Goto urges Japanese leaders to help save her son. Warning that time is running out. Protesters also calling for Goto's release. The militants reportedly killed one Japanese hostage, Haruna Yukawa, and the crisis has stunned Japan. The effort to free Goto and a captured Jordanian pilot gained urgency with the release of an apparent ultimatum claiming the Islamic State group would kill both within 24 hours if the Iraqi woman was not freed. The latest message condemns Jordan for not releasing Sajida al-Rishawi. Al-Rishawi was sentenced to death in Jordan for her involvement in a 2005 al-Qaeda attack on hotels in Amman that killed 60 people. About 200 of the pilot's relatives demonstrating outside the Jordanian Prime Minister's office, chanting anti-government slogans and urging that it meet the captor's demands. The pilot's father has repeatedly criticized the Jordanian government's handling of the crisis, saying more must be done to bring his son home. This is the first time that the Islamic State group has publicly demanded the release of prisoners in exchange for hostages. Previous captors may have been released in exchange for ransom, although the governments involved have refused to confirm any payments were made. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.